Hi, everyone. Let's do a past life reading. This reading may or may not resonate with you. I do channel multiple energy groups on here, so only take this if it fits. And I really appreciate your comments. Thank you guys for engaging, even just leaving a heart comment. I love hearing your stories as well. And if these are resonating with you, please subscribe. I do these readings frequently. So thank you guys for being here. So what happened in your past life? We have the King of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, the Sun, the Two of Swords, The Five of Swords, the Ten of Cups. The Hermit. The Eight of Cups. And the Two of Wands. Okay, oops, sorry, let's see. That's better. Again, this isn't for everybody, but we're going to get into who you were in this past life and we're going to get into who they were uh, and the connection, just all kinds of details here. But I feel like you you were with a king of swords or you were the king of swords. Either way, take it as it resonates. But it's, it's like someone uh, abandoned a king of swords here. I feel like someone left behind a king of swords and I feel like this king of swords might have been in the military, they might have been a warrior. This could even be like a like a Viking life. Uh, this could be a... Like I'm seeing someone in like a position of authority. This king of swords was in some kind of position of, of authority. They were a protector. They have a warrior spirit. They were a provider type. I feel like the light left this king of swords life though. I feel like... With the Four of Swords too, that's that's being in a meditative state. I'm in this context with the Five of Pentacles. I feel like I feel like they almost dreamed it. Like they they saw, they channeled it. They dreamed it, or they had a vision that you left them. That you left in this in this lifetime that you guys were in. I feel like they knew you were going to leave. They felt it. It was like, especially with the sun and the two of swords here, because the sun is the most positive card in the deck. And I almost see it as like, it's like the light just left their life. Like the light, when you left, it feels like the light was just blocked from their life and they felt it coming. They knew it was coming. I feel like you left them for somebody else. Five of swords can be, it, it can be like a, like, competition and there's a 10 of cups and it's like this person was just alone watching you have this 10 of cups you might have even had a family with somebody else you might have even gone off this could be like the one that got away kind of energy you might have even gone off and had a family with somebody else uh you walked away i feel like this person might have spent the rest of their life or at least very many years waiting for you two of wands is like it's 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 long-term planning. It's it's thinking long-term. So it's like this person didn't really... I feel like they just didn't really see... Yeah, it's like they just felt that love with you. They didn't, they didn't see that with anybody else. How did they feel when you left? Eight of Swords, Trapped. Page of Cups. Ace of Wands. Queen of Cups, the Moon, the Chariot, the Nine of Wands. I feel like they tried to fight for you. What happened next? I feel like a knight of cups and a knight of wands went up against each other for this love. There's There was two men or two women here that were fighting over you. Tell me about this.
Yeah, two kings here, a king of cups and a king of wands. Is there, that's really interesting. We got the knight of cups and we got the knight of wands. So this could even be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio versus a fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Ace of cups. Yeah, one of them got rejected. I think this King of Swords, um, I think this man that was a, like a leader or a warrior type, I think he got rejected for this other man in this past life. I don't think he's healed from it. I don't think he ever fully, heal, fully healed from this in this lifetime. I don't think he fully healed from it. It's like there's some kind of major loss here. Some kind of rejection. There could have even... I keep seeing the sword. There could have even been like a sword fight, honestly. There could have been some kind of like actual physical battle between these two kings over you. I'm going to pause so I can put the cards away and, and start the, you know, start a new spread here. I want to I wanna pull this, pull similar cards. Hold on. Take the rules as it resonates. Like I said, for some, you're this king of one, uh, king of swords, this warrior spirit, this maybe someone that was in the military or in some kind of position of power that got left behind. Um, you know, just just take it as it fits. For others, I feel like you're the person that that left. For most of you, I feel like you're probably the person that left that king of swords behind. So for the person that left the king of swords behind, tell me about who you were in this past life. Show me your personality. Yeah, you were juggling. You were juggling between between two. Well, what were you juggling? Let's see. You might have been like a free spirit type. Um, the hermit can be a mentor. It can be a guide. And I almost feel like maybe you, maybe you were kind of like a wanderer, like maybe you wandered from, from town to town, like maybe you had a lot to teach people, like you were very wise, eight of pentacles. Tell me, tell me about this. Tell me who you were. Three of swords. The hierophant. I feel like you had a you had like a soul mission in this lifetime is kind of what I'm feeling and I think you prioritized it over love. I think that you had something really special that you wanted to do that lifetime and you prioritized it over love. But I feel like at some point you met somebody new and this person was devastated by it. Tell me cuz it's almost like you were juggling like you really loved this person. But I feel like you felt called to go do something. It's like with the hermit, that could be like a mentor, like a guide. Eight of Pentacles is like, it's like that person's like build, like you're building something. It's like you're spiritually guided to do something, like to do something in the community. You might have been like a, like a witch or a healer or a, um, like a medicine man or a medicine woman. Um, you had some kind of like soul mission. You had some kind of, some kind of calling, something that you felt pulled towards. And so I feel like you, you juggled because I feel like you did love this person, but I feel like you felt that, you know, this is like a hierophant is like someone in a position of power. This is like traditions, uh, social regulations. Tell me more about what happened next. Six of Cups, Strength. Yeah, it's like you were in a position of authority and you tried. It, it, it's like you weren't really fully following your heart. Because I, I feel like you were in some kind of position of, of power. Like you wanted power more than you wanted love. Um, for some of you, so take it as it resonates. Like if you know you have like a past life pattern of like maybe being kind of power hungry 
uh, fame hungry and like almost almost to, not to a point of being evil, but maybe for some because um, I'm getting two different storylines here. For some of you, this was actually like a high calling like this actually was a like your spirit guides were guiding you to to help the community to become a healer to become a prophet to 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 you know travel and um do something really um positive in the community that would help a lot of people but this person was heartbroken by it because they know that that would mean you know a separation from you and i think you felt like you would be able to go do this that you'd be able to fulfill this calling and come back to them um, I feel like for some, maybe this calling might have even made you some money and you felt like, okay, like like you had like a long-term plan, but it didn't pan out. You know what I mean? Like you might have thought, okay, I'm going to listen to my spirit guides. I'm going to go out in the community. I'm going to travel. I'm going to be, I'm going to be divinely led. I'm going to, uh, you know, work on my craft, work on my art um, and make some money. And I'm going to come back and we're going to start a life together. It might have been like a contract, like you have to go somewhere for for a year or something like that, and then you come back. Um, for some, this could be nursing. For most of you, I feel like this past life was like a long time ago. I'm getting like, like like Atlantis, like Egypt, uh, like like Celtic, um, like I'm getting like Celtic energy here. Uh, for some, it's it's like I feel like it's like I feel like the old old days. But for for one person here, I'm actually seeing that you were um, like a like a military nurse, I think is what I'm getting. Like you actually had like a contract where you were going to go in the military and be a nurse in the military, like overseas to help people like probably like World War One or World War Two or something like that. Um, and I don't think it panned out. It was one of those things where it was like you felt called. You felt like this was like a very high calling, like I'm going to go do this you know, but I love you. I'm coming back to you. I'll be back in a year. I'm signing this contract to be a nurse for, for a year or however long. And then I'm coming back to you and we'll, we'll be together. We'll start a life. Um, there's some kind of obligation that you were very committed to. You were very committed with the Hierophant. You were very committed to this, this purpose, this, this path that you were on. For others, I feel like this might have actually been you being power hungry. So there's two different storylines. For some, this was a, you know, a, a, a spiritually led calling. For others, I feel like you were just power hungry and you didn't want, like this love might have been uh, poor, like they might have been, like they didn't have a lot of money or they didn't have, um, they didn't have status. And maybe you grew up in poverty in this life and you wanted status, you wanted power you wanted success so your heart felt called to this person like you felt like you truly loved them but your soul wasn't evolved enough at that point um or like you weren't mentally evolved in that in that lifetime enough to to choose love over money and power and fame and and appearance and whatnot i feel like you got seduced by power here basically for some where it was like this person was poor or they they weren't um they weren't in high, like, they, I think they, they, they were like a king of swords, like military type, but they might not have been, um, that's for someone, like, they might not have been in high enough standing in society, like, they were like a knight or something, uh, and you want, or they were like a, like, like a, like military or something like that, and you wanted, like, a king or queen, like, you wanted the money, you wanted the power, you wanted something more, you know what I mean? And so you chose to ignore your heart. Um, anyone ever see Once Upon a Time? I'm getting, I'm getting that scene. Like, I, like, I hope that the movie and, and songs are resonating with you because that's part of how I channel. But for those that have seen Once Upon a Time, I'm getting that scene where Cora, like, uh, like she rips. Like, if you guys have watched that show, you know, like when you rip your heart out, like you don't feel as much emotion. And I'm getting that scene where Cora was like in love with Rumpelstiltskin, but she like rips her own heart out because she doesn't want to love him. She wants. She wants to be with the the king, even though she doesn't love the or the prince, even though she doesn't really love the prince. She loves Rumpelstiltskin, but she's like, I'm. I don't care how I feel. I'm choosing power. I'm choosing money. I'm choosing. I grew up in poverty. I'm gonna choose success over love. That's that's the vibe I'm getting here. Somebody really wanted power, and they had to be strong to not be nostalgic and go back to the past. Ten of Cups. Let's see here. 
But whatever it was, whatever, again, whether it was a soul mission that was really divinely, like you were helping a lot of people or whether it was just, you know, like ego, just power and, and wanting money and comfort, whatever it was, it's like you really didn't miss this person from your past, but you tried to be strong. You try to be strong here and not not let yourself be nostalgic and go back to them. Yeah, you fought your feelings. You fought your feelings. You didn't your heart and your soul called out for this person. You missed this person, but you you ended you let go of the Queen of Cups side of yourself to have this power or to go on this divine soul mission, whatever this was, um, or for money or whatever it was. It's like you let go of the the emotional, loving, nurturing side of yourself. It's almost like you had to let go of that side of yourself to focus on, you know, whatever you were focused on, helping people um, or, or again, money, status, uh, being with someone in, in a position of authority. I'm almost getting like Lancelot and like like a love triangle situation. Like you might have gone with there might have been like a love triangle because I'm getting like Lancelot, King Ar King Arthur, and Guinevere. And I'm not saying that you were like it's highly unlikely that you were one of those people. I'm not saying that you're one of those people, but I'm saying it's like I feel like I feel like maybe your past life story is like it's like a similar storyline of like you know Lancelot and Guinevere and, and King Arthur. It's like a similar. Um, like the knight that your heart really called to versus, you know, the the king or the there or someone else that was in a position of higher power that um you didn't really love them quite as much. It was more you might have loved them to an extent, but you weren't deeply in love with them. You know, kind of like Guinevere was more in love with Lancelot. She wasn't really in love with King Arthur, but she she loved him and respected him. You know, like you guys ever see like first night, it's like kind of like that energy where it's like, she almost saw him as like more of a I don't I don't want to say like a father, but it's like she, it was like a guide, it was like a like a protector, like she loved him, but she wasn't like, in love with Arthur, she was in love with Lancelot. You know, because I'm getting that kind of like third party storyline here. That, that kind of like third party kind of like two men is what I'm feeling here. But it's like she felt that sense of duty and loyalty. Because I feel like in this lifetime, I think you might be more in touch with your Queen of Cups side. You're more emotional, loving, empathetic, nurturing. Um, I think in that lifetime, though, you were more logical. You really, you put this side of yourself aside to, you had a very strong sense of like honor and a uh, duty you know like a loyalty to the crown kind of energy um or again just maybe power hungry where you just wanted the the success you might have grown up in poverty and so it's like above all else you just didn't want to you wanted to be with somebody that had a lot of money in that life something like that it's like there's different storylines here so take what resonates but I'm really just getting this vibe of like you know, you, you put this emotional, you let go of this emotional side of yourself. You let go of the, you wrap that cycle up. You became somebody different. When you left this person that you deeply loved, I feel like you, um, you left behind this, this queen of cups side of yourself. You became more logical, more detached. You kind of had to detach from your emotions. Um, otherwise you would have gotten nostalgic and depressed and gone back to the past. And so you are trying to stay focused on your goal. You are trying to stay focused on what you wanted to do. Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups, uh, Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, Seven of Wands, Son of Cups. Hmm. What's this Temperance and the Seven of Cups about? Because I feel like you left for another man. Like the, the that's like kind of like the again, I don't think it was like, you know, I don't think you were those one of those people necessarily, but I'm getting just, you know, it's it's like there's similarities between that story and this is what I'm feeling a little bit for some of you. It's like I am getting the third party energy where it's like 
you know, kind of like leaving Lancelot behind for um, for Arthur, where it was like he was, you know, charming and he came through when you felt like you could have wish fulfillment with him. You felt like you would be in like higher status, like, uh, you know, Ten of, Ten of Pentacles is like a legacy. It's like it's like financial success. It's like there could have been some kind of um, there was some kind of wealth or status or power that that was attached to this, um, you know, like we're like King Arthur type. There, there was something that was attached to him that you you went that you that you chose over over your your lover from the past temperance and son of cups why yeah because you were still in love with this king of wands i think deep down but yeah you rejected them even though it was the light of your life it was your true love you still rejected it you move forward because to get that financial offer or get that status get that support the moon what was hidden Yeah, this devastated this person, this third party. They didn't see. I mean, I'm sorry. Like, if this is your story, I think you did this person dirty. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? Like, I've, like, everyone in their past lives, like, most of, like, pretty much all of us have done some shit in our past lives. Like, there's nothing. You know what I mean? Like, like, a lot of people have, like, done the worst in their past lives. It's, it's, it happens. <laughs> But yeah, like you did this person dirty in your past life. I'm not going to lie because this was like this is like a hidden third party and it created like a tower for this person. Like they did not see it coming. They were just like they were just blown away by it. They were just I feel like let, let's I'm going to pause this and I'm going to put the cards back and reshuffle again because I want to get, you know, pull again. Um, but yeah, something we're going to look into that something came to light with this tower here. The third party came to light. It was hidden and then it was revealed to them. And they felt it intuitively. They might have been having dreams about it before it happened, before you officially left with this third party. We're going to look into that. Because I feel like for some, you might have gone on a spiritual mission. Like for those of you that went on a spiritual mission, I think the plan was for you to still come back to this person in the end. You know, like I'm going to go be a, a military nurse for a year, but I'm coming back to you after that. Or I'm going to go on this spiritual quest. I'm going to go on, on a vision quest. or I'm going to go be a healer in the community or go on this. Um, you might have been with other people too, going on some kind of quest, maybe even like a petitioning. Like I see someone like petitioning different communities uh, you know, going like traveling from town to town. I so, see like horses and carriages and that kind of thing, like like the old, old days. Uh, but I feel like the plan was still for you to to come back to this person. Like you still wanted to, um, if you were on that spiritual quest, at least, I feel like you you still wanted to uh, to come back to that person in the end. And I feel like you might have ended up you either we're going to look into it. You either ended up dying or you ended up meeting like it didn't it didn't go through. You either ended up dying on this spiritual quest that you were on or you met somebody new on this spiritual quest and you felt like they were they had the same goals as you did. Like you didn't really want to um your perception changed and you're like, you know what? I I miss this person. I love them, but I can't go back to them. I need to stay focused on the mission. Maybe the mission ended up taking longer than you planned for it to take. It was supposed to be like a year and it ended up being five years or 10 years. Like you might have met somebody new who was on that same path as you. So you guys kind of completed that mission together and you didn't end up going back to this person. And this person was devastated by it. They never really got over you. For others of you, I feel like you just... You know, again, you didn't want to be with somebody that was in poverty. You grew up in poverty. You were you were both maybe not of high status. Like, I think you were very beautiful and attractive and you were very intelligent and seductive. So you could raise your social status because of that, because you knew how to charm people. But I feel and there's something about like your eyes, like glamour, like you really knew how to charm other people. You were very like seductress kind of energy. But I feel like you guys didn't really have high social status in that life. And you didn't want to stay with someone who was of low social status. You, It's like you wanted, um, even if they were like a knight or something like that, or in the military, you wanted, it was never enough for you. You wanted more. You wanted, if they, if they were a knight, you wanted a king or a queen. 
um if they were just in poverty like a farmer you wanted a knight you know what i mean it's like you wanted that whatever it was you wanted that next level up you didn't want to you, you grew up in poverty and you didn't want to um you could even have soul contracts that you need to end of poverty that maybe played out into this lifetime too as well from this past life for some of you that might have repeated that cycle might have repeated that that poverty mindset lack mentality might have repeated this lifetime but um but yeah i'm feeling like like it's like you wanted to like up your social status so i feel like you you seduced somebody and you you went with this other person so you know and they they had money power whatever they like they leveled you up and so uh either way it's like whatever storyline you're on you left this person is what i'm feeling so we're gonna pause and come back hold on one second i feel like your heart was with that person though like you deeply loved that person but again you weren't really following your heart that lifetime you you detached from your queen or king of cups side in that lifetime I am actually getting a third storyline here for some and this could be for some you had both lives for some I might be channeling like like I don't want to add a third storyline because it's going to make things too complicated so I'm probably going to come back uh, either today or tomorrow within the next couple days I'll, I'll be posting another past life reading as well for that third storyline, just not to confuse things. For some, I feel like this reading is accurate for you, and that reading is also another life that you went through with, with similar... It might be like a karmic cycle, like you have similar... Um, like maybe there was some kind of trauma where you abandoned this person, and it's almost like that played out in future lives where you kept abandoning them even if it wasn't by choice almost like you abandoned them and it was so traumatic like it left like a like a soul scar almost and it's like it the cycle repeated um and I'm actually feeling like so that storyline I was ch channeling where I was like getting like Lancelot Guinevere energy and, and again like I said I don't think that you were one of those people it's highly unlikely um but I feel like maybe that's what I'm picking up with the arranged marriage storyline. We'll get into that more in another reading. But I just want to look. I'm just, you know, channeling real quick here. Because I feel like for that lifetime, maybe um, maybe your person tried to save you from the arranged marriage. And they were killed. Which I guess in a way is kind of... I mean, it's kind of similar to like the, the, the Lancelot Guinevere-like storyline where it's like you were... It's like there was like some kind of arranged marriage or like obligation, some kind of like marriage obligation or kidnapping or something where you didn't really want to marry somebody, but you, you either, you either did because you had to, or you were actually forced into it. Um, and I feel like your person like tried to save you or they couldn't save you. There was some kind of separation there as well. Um, or someone might've actually been killed that lifetime. So it was like a very uh, devastating past life. Well, again, we'll get more that in, into that in another reading. Let's let's stick to the main. Let's 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 keep it. You know, let's let's stick to the main two storylines we're channeling here. <laughs> um, I appreciate your comments. Like, if this is resonating, please just leave even just a heart comment below. It really helps me get back into the algorithm. Um, I love hearing from your stories too. Like, if this is resonating with you guys, please let me know. Uh, please subscribe if it resonates too. I'm going to be doing more. Uh, I do love readings, past life readings. Sometimes I get, you know, legal, uh, like, you know, karma readings, that kind of like just all types of different readings on here. So if this resonates, please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, yeah, maybe even share the video if you feel like you know someone that needs to hear this message. I almost wonder if for some, maybe, maybe the, the, arranged marriage storyline maybe that past life was before this current one that I'm channeling so it's like maybe you were in an arranged marriage with someone and they were in a position of power you know success authority um and maybe that wasn't like your usual thing and it's like maybe you like you got attached to that like you might not have like deeply loved them but it's like 
you might have created some kind of soul contract with somebody like a karmic masculine here that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Does that make sense? It's almost like you were with your true love and then you were you were taken or you were forced into some kind of marriage with a more karmic masculine. And I feel like like maybe in the next life you kind of were drawn to that karmic masculine again, even if the relationship was toxic and like you were forced into it into that life. You might have like recognized their soul in a way the next lifetime and like almost like develop some kind of soul contract with them. And it's like you went with them again for power. It's like you got a taste of power, that life, that that arranged marriage life, even though you didn't really want it. You weren't really looking for that, but you got that anyway. So the next lifetime, it's like you went back to that. That's for some. Again, only take this reading if it resonates. It's not for everybody. But let's look into... um. Tell me what happens. So, okay, so so the other two storylines we have are, you know, again, either going on a like a spiritual mission or, or some kind of job, career, focusing on that, and then you ended up possibly meeting somebody else um, or dying. Either way, you just didn't come back to your person. And the second storyline we got was, you know, just to just to recap real quick, the second storyline we got was you choosing somebody else because of their status, their position in society money, uh, maybe they could get you ahead. For some, if you were going on a spiritual mission too, maybe you felt like this person could fund that mission. Maybe they had the resources. Maybe they were kind of um, enamored with you. It's like they, they saw your, you on your spiritual quest. Uh, they saw you doing some kind of mission. And even though you weren't of high social status, they were attracted to that energy that um kind of innovative adventurous like you you were kind of in a leadership role where you were taking a stand you weren't just accepting your position in society you were trying to it might have been political you might be drawn to politics this lifetime too you might have been making like a political change in society back then you know hundreds or thousands of years ago you might have been um might have been like women's rights or it's just something like that like you were you were trying to do something to help people to help society you were you were um viewed as a good influence in society as maybe like maybe like a leadership type like a leader leadership kind of role like you were you were doing something that the public supported and so this person of high status might have seen you and even though they probably normally would only court people that are of the same social status as them, they think they maybe, made, they, maybe they made an exception for you because they were like, wow, like she's, you know, he or she is really driven. Like they're really, they're not, this isn't like most uh, commoners I've met. You know what I mean? It's like this person's like, wow, this person's really um, like driven to, to make political changes or to make an impact on the world. Or maybe you even, um, got a chance to talk to this person and give them some kind of like political, uh, like tell them your political stance or give them some kind of speech or something. And it kind of opened their mind up a little bit where they weren't as um, almost like maybe they kind of looked down on like commoner types, like they kind of looked down on you guys. But this person like, you were very beautiful, very charming, very uh, charismatic. You were a public speaker, I think you're really good with your words, you were really good at um at critical thinking, at winning an argument. You were really good at that. You were really um, skilled in that. Like you might have had some kind of training that had to do with uh, critical thinking, arguments, stating your case. Like you you had, like you were prepped for that. Because they feel like maybe this person saw you and it's like, yeah, normally they wouldn't go for somebody that was like lower social status, but it's like they were kind of seduced. They were charmed by you. They were charmed by your... Um, your spirit, your drive, your um, your desire to be more than what your your social status uh, was. You know what I mean. Your your desire for more out of life. They hadn't seen that kind of energy in a a commoner before. I guess I could say, like they hadn't seen that kind of. Um, it's like this energy of a. Uh, because I feel like you traveled. I feel like you traveled from place to place and like people were like listening to you speak. People are like listening to you um, 
like fight for some kind of cause or again some of you were like a healer like you did some kind of healing work with like herbs and medicine and maybe you helped this person like this this knight or this king or whoever this was maybe you like helped them heal like maybe you gave them some kind of herbal ointment or treatment or something when they were wounded and you helped them heal and it kind of they were impressed by your knowledge of herbs or they were impressed by your um the way you carried yourself your your confidence so in your beauty you know there's something about you where you just charmed this person and so I think some of you maybe you know you saw them as a it's like you saw this knight or this king as a way to um to get money and funding for the cause that you were trying to support like I don't think you I don't think you genuinely like were in love with them. I think that you were in love with your person from the past that was in poverty. But I feel like this social cause or this job, this calling that you had was was your priority, your, your priority, your priority. And so I feel like even though you weren't in love with this person of high, you know, social status, you saw it as a means to an end. You're like, okay, well, this person has a lot of money. They have this they have resources they have you know I'm getting they have horses they have they have horses <laughs> like they have <laughs> like you were like charmed because this person had like they, they had more you know what I mean like they had like um the ability to support you the ability to um I feel like to give you a social platform too I feel like for some of you it was like again you were more logical you weren't very emotional that lifetime you were more focused on your goals on your aspirations I feel like it was it wasn't just about the money and resources they could provide. It was also about the the um the platform they could give you. You know what I mean? Like if the if the villagers were throwing stones at you and they weren't wanting to they didn't want to hear about women's rights and and these political causes. I feel like you got thrown like rocks at. Like people like threw rocks at you and they like threw like cakes at you and stuff. Honestly, I'm seeing that. I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm seeing. But it's it's like I feel like they People supported you, but there was also a lot of people um, that didn't, it's like you were very confident and you were so much more confident than, than your, um, than what role you were in. I'm really getting like, I keep getting like Cora from Once Upon a Time, like her, that kind of vibe where she didn't, she didn't give a shit if she had no money. She was going to act like a queen anyway. And it's, it's almost like, I think you kind of had that, that vibe where even if you were in poverty, you acted, you were confident, you were sassy, you acted like a queen. You were not humble that lifetime. Don't like, like, don't, sorry, but you were not humble that lifetime at all. Like, I'm not getting that vibe. I'm getting like, you were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna act like a king or queen, even if I'm not like, and I think it rubbed people the wrong way. Like, I think some people were kind of inspired by it, but other people that kind of, rubbed them the wrong way a little bit where they're like what is this commoner doing like what is this commoner like like who does she think she is you know or they like laughed at you like other commoners might have been like like this is our this is our position in society we're never gonna you're delusional we're never gonna be in that position it's like you were trying to you were like an innovator you were trying to show people another way of like you were a leader type you know you were trying to show people another way of of being, of, of seeing the world, of like trying to get them to, to join you in some kind of cause or some kind of perception or, or, you know, social, social kind of movement, something, you know, politics possibly. And, and yeah, I feel like with this, when this person came in, I feel like they were very charmed by you. They were very charmed by your confidence and it's almost like they told you to prove yourself and you did prove yourself and I think you got a a position possibly with them because of that because you did prove yourself somehow and I feel like oh yeah what I was saying is I feel like also a lot of you um again you you really didn't care much about love that lifetime you weren't very family oriented you were you were really just all about your your purpose your your passion your whatever was driving you that was your your whole life your whole focus was on that um i feel like you were in a more masculine energy that lifetime too i feel like you were very um very hard headed very very strong willed um very um 
like it's a good energy don't get me wrong but but yeah it was it's, it's like a a specific kind of energy I'm picking up here like you very feisty <laughs> but it but yeah it's a, it's a good energy for sure I think and um yeah some of you it's like you saw this person as a um as a means to an end like you saw that they, they had a platform and so people that weren't listening to you the the people that were throwing rocks at you they I, I they weren't um they had to listen to this person, this king or this person that was in some kind of position of authority. Everybody listened to him. And so I feel like that was why you you saw, like you kind of seduced him and used him in a way because you're like, well, they listen to him. So if I'm by his side, they have to listen to me too. I can kind of use him. I can use his, his uh, you know, his, um, his role in society, his platform that he has. If I'm with him, I get to be on that platform too. They have to listen to me because he's gonna he's gonna fucking kill him if they don't. You know, like they have to listen to me because I'm with him. Like it, it's like you realize that they would have more respect for you in society if you were by his side. And I feel like I feel like that's why you like you you went with him. And again, I don't think this person would normally give commoners the time of day. I think this person might have actually been very cruel to commoners. But but again, he saw something different in you. Let's see. I almost wonder how you guys even got together because I do get an affair. I do get like a romantic relationship, but I almost feel like because back then, I don't think like could you could you marry commoners back then? Could a could a prince or king marry a commoner back then? I'm not sure. Because for some, it might have been like a secret affair where it's like they gave you that platform, but you guys couldn't really like be together publicly because people. It might not have been allowed back then for some, or there might have been like some kind of loophole they had to find to be able to be with you since you were of lower status. I don't think you could have loved this person though, because I honestly feel like I feel like the oh sorry, I feel like the person you left behind you truly loved the person that maybe wasn't in that position of power, but this I almost get like a. I don't want I don't know if it's evil, but I get a very like I get like very like very cruel to commoners, but I guess that was like you know that's no, the normal thing back then, but it's like almost like. Like, I feel like this person, like, killed a lot of people, or they, like, they were very, um, it's almost like that, like, a stubborn, narcissistic, childish prince or something that want, wants what they can't have, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's like a very, um, like a warlord type energy, or like a, like a prince or a king that's, like, in a position of power, but it's, it's almost like... It's like people respected them, but they had to respect them. It wasn't, this wasn't somebody that was just loved by the people. This man that you were using, I think maybe that's probably, probably partly why you didn't feel bad using this man to, for that platform and for that political agenda. You might not have felt bad using this person because this person had kind of almost like a little bit of an evil side. They were very, it's, it's like they, people listened because they had to listen. There was no... The respect was forced. It wasn't a genuine love or admiration or respect. It was it was people when this person talked, people had to listen to them. And this man might not have even supported your cause, but I almost feel like he might have been um like maybe neutral on it or something like that. You know, like he was he was willing to give you that platform and in, in exchange for, you know, the the sex and the, the connection and what he was getting in return for it. But it wasn't. Um, you definitely didn't love that man. You definitely did not. Your heart was not with that man. You might have grown to love him in future lives, you know, like check you know, again, subscribe if this is resonating, because I am going to do more past life readings and we'll probably get more in the storyline. But let's let's see. Let's get some more info. So what? Ha so tell me more about what happened. So this this person that you truly loved that you left behind, for um, 
for power, for status. Again, for some of you, it might not have been like a noble cause for that's one storyline. But the other storyline is you just you just wanted power. You just wanted to be queen or you just wanted to be in a position of power and you you didn't give a shit how you had to get there. You would use whoever you needed to do to, to get to what you wanted to get the the resources, the the money, the the social status. You were very superficial that lifetime. But show me more about like why why didn't you tell me more about why you didn't go back to the to your old person. You left behind this king of wands for a for a, a or king of wands. You left behind the king of wands for a king of cups. It's like when this person gave you this offer that would make your life easier financially or give you a platform. It's like you left behind this other person that you truly loved. I think they tried to convince you to come back or not to leave them. They tried to convince you that you guys could work through it, the poverty or whatever it was, or that there was another way to get what you wanted. And you didn't, you, you were the queen of swords with them. You were kind of, you, you kind of were cold. You might have even told the person that you truly love that you, you didn't love them anymore because... For some, you might have gotten pregnant by the new person. And maybe those days in society when like, you know, abortion wasn't allowed, it's possible that, um, you know, like you had to keep the baby too. That's possible for some. Um, but I think like, I, yeah, I think there was some kind of ending there where it's like you left and you were supposed to come back and you just ended up never coming back. Yeah. I wonder if some of you might have even gotten yourselves pregnant to, um, I don't know what the rules were back then, like the laws and whatnot, but maybe some of you like seduced the, the, this position, per person in a position of authority and got pregnant. So you had the power, you had the upper hand because you're like, well, I'm pregnant with your child. So you you know what I mean? Like I I get a position. I I'm in a position of of power. I have authority over you because I have I'm pregnant with your child. For some, um, I'm also getting the the message here that like you might have lied to your person that you loved and told them that you didn't love them. Like you really abandoned them. Um, it's like you might have told them. It's like they might have fought for you and you blocked it. Or they might have come back and fought for you. And I feel like maybe when they fought for you, they found that you were pregnant with this man's child. Like they might have come looking for you. Like maybe you kind of just ghosted this person. Like you were just gone for like a year or so and you were supposed to come back to them and you just never came back. And they started worrying. Like they started freaking out and wondering if you had gotten killed on the road. Um, if something had happened to you on your mission and they started asking like the, the neighboring villagers and people if they had seen you, like they searched for you. They started looking for you everywhere. And I feel like when they found you, you were a queen of swords, like they were open hearted and you were just like, no, like you were just cold with them. And you might have been pregnant with another man's child at that point. Like they, they found you like thinking that you were still the queen of cups, thinking that you were still you know, going to like go back home with them, that you guys were going to have this life together. Like they waited for you. It's really, I feel it makes me sad for this person because this person that you left behind was very gentle, very loving. And they waited for you. They, there was like a year contract or however long you were gone for. It's like they waited. They did not have eyes for anybody else. I don't think they even cheated. I don't think they even messed around with anybody else. 
I think they really genuinely just wanted you. Like they didn't want anybody else. Like they just missed you. They just longed for you. They just felt this nostalgia for you every single day that you were gone. Like that year, I almost get like, like a, like I see like a stone, them counting like, like a, like a, whatever kind of calendars they had back then. It's like, if you had like a contract or something, they were counting down the days until you would come home. And towards the end when there hadn't been any letters or they hadn't heard from you, when you kind of just, you know, MIA, like just kind of disappeared on them. That's when they started panicking, started thinking that maybe you died and they started searching for you. They started asking people about you. And when they found you, I feel like they found you in a different energy, very cold, very guarded, very detached from them. You might've even lied and said that you didn't love them anymore because, you know, you, you were trying to push them away so that you could, you could be with this other person and, and stay on your mission and whatnot. You might've been very harsh with this person. You might've been very, very cold. Like they came to you in this very nostalgic, just loving energy. Just like, I think this person was so open hearted, honestly. They were so gentle, so pure, so romantic, so loving, so open hearted. And yeah, they found you in this Queen of Swords energy, just very cold, very guarded. You might have acted like you might have acted like they were a stranger if you were in like in a position of power where um you were you were, you know, married to this this king or this person that was in a position of authority. You might have acted like they were a stranger to protect both of you. You know, like like maybe you didn't tell this this person that you this king that you were with having an affair with or married to, you might not have told them about this past person because you didn't um maybe you were still married to this past person and you didn't want them to know that. Like you didn't want them to um like you were kind of playing both sides a little bit to some to some extent, I think. But I think you didn't want them to um to know about the past person. Or maybe you were afraid that they would kill the past person as well, like if they knew that you were married to them. Um, so I think you acted like you were single, like you were alone. And so I think that when this person finally found you, it's like they found you with this um, with this new man. Like you were in a relationship or you were married to this new man and they were just devastated. They were blown away. They did not expect you to be with anybody else. They they were loyal to you and they expected you to be loyal to them too. And you were you were straight up just with another man when they found you. Um maybe even caught you in the act for some, but I feel like for some of you it's like you pretended like you didn't even know who they were to protect the both of you because you hadn't told that that king or whoever that was about them. So you're like, I don't know who this commoner is. I don't, I never, I'm not married to them. I've never met them. Um, either that or you were just very cold with them and you're like, you know what, I moved on. You should have taken the hint. Like I didn't come back to you for a reason. I'm in a position of power now. I'm not going back to you. Some of you, you might've been pregnant with, with this other man's child. Like, so the, not only did they find you with somebody else, but you actually were pregnant with this man's child, like having the the family with them that this other person hoped to have with you. Yeah. They were loyal and stable and I almost feel like it it almost they might have even started a karmic pattern of like being disloyal in future lives because of how devastated they were. They might be like a player or a cheater in this life honestly and that might even stem from this. This was so devastating for them. Like cuz when I channel them looking for you it like makes me want to cry. Like it makes me emotional. Like this man was so just and I'm like no one's blaming you like no one's like if you're in this energy group you know too if you're if you're in this if you're in this group too um no one's blaming you for it you know but it's it's like yeah it's like this man was so um just his heart was so pure so innocent so loving and I almost feel like this man might have even cheated on you or betrayed you in this lifetime because I feel like 
I feel like his sense of loyalty to you died that lifetime. And it's almost like it's it's carried over in future lives because this man is like your twin flame or like a higher level soulmate. Like this is this true love of yours is somebody that you've had multiple past lives with. And so I really get this energy of like, like they're like there was like an end to their loyalty in general. Like they never, they, I, I can't even tell you how devastated this person was. Like you destroyed this person. It's almost like they went inward and they're like, I'm never, it's almost like they made like a soul contract that carried over into future lives where they're like, I'm never going to go through that again, or I'm never going to be loyal again. I'm going to be, I'm not going to, I'm going to one up other people. I'm not going to let someone one up me. I'm going to be the one to cheat before I get cheated on. I'm going to be the one to break other people's hearts before they break my heart. Like they, like you destroyed this person. You destroyed them. Like, like that pain was so deep that it like cut into their soul. Like they haven't, even this lifetime, they haven't forgotten that. Like this person probably doesn't consciously, unless they're very spiritual, they probably don't consciously remember this past life. But I mean, they probably like, they feel it. They still feel the residue from that past life, even if they're not aware of it, that it's coming from a past life. Does that make sense? Where it's like, maybe they have this mentality of like, you know, like I'll get, I'll cheat on people before I get cheated on. It's like they, they, that heartbreak was so devastating that they might have, um, I'm getting the dark energy. They might have the, they might have, uh, chosen a, if you know what I'm saying here, they might, when they found you with that person, they might have gone home and, um, chosen to, uh, you know, end chosen to check out. Let's, let's say they, they, they might've chosen to check out for others. They lived, but they, they never loved again. They never loved again that lifetime. They, they spent their life alone. They were just, they were destroyed. Like I can't even like, most people will never even go through that kind of pain. Like I can't even like describe the kind of pain that I'm channeling here. It's like they, they were, they were destroyed. They never, they might've had to see you too in public with this person that you were with, like in this position of, of power, of status. They, they never got over you. They loved you with all their heart and soul. They never got over you. They felt so betrayed by you, so devastated by what they found. I just feel like they, they died very sad and very alone. Honestly, I feel like they didn't, they didn't marry again that life. They did it. They didn't want anybody else. And they, they were so broken from that, that I don't feel like they felt like they could ever trust anybody else either. Like they didn't want, um, yeah, they just did. They didn't want anybody else. That's just what I get. Like, that's just what I feel like they, they just did not want to love again. I feel like they went into like hermit mode. Cause I'm seeing like a man in like a little cabin, like on like a hilltop or out in the woods, just like drinking and just sitting by a fireplace and just contemplating, like, I just see this look on his face where he's just, like, broken. And I see him in, like, in, like, a rocking chair. He might have been, like, a carpenter. He might have made things, like, made, like, maybe, like, built houses or, like, carpentry. Like, he might have made that rocking chair I'm seeing. But it's, like, I just see him by, like, a fireplace drinking. Like, he never, he, like, really um became a recluse. Like, he didn't, he became very, um hermited, very antisocial, very, uh, very, uh, introverted. This person might even be like, maybe he's like even introverted this lifetime. Maybe he's not a natural introvert, but maybe he's like still has remnants of that past life where he really just was done with society. Like, I really feel like he just went into the mountains to just kind of die alone, honestly. Um, like he just lived in that little cabin or something and he just kind of I think for some, he went crazy, honestly. I feel like for some, it's like, because I see someone like almost, what is this energy I'm getting? Bear with me. When I talk like this, I hope you guys understand I'm not rambling. Like I am channeling. This is, I'm getting like the visions. I'm getting the, like, I'm feeling the energy. I'm feeling the emotions. I'm getting, it's like these downloads you get from your spirit guides, this, you know, psychic downloads. Because I'm hearing like talking to the animals, but like not in like a positive, happy way, almost like, 
Like, he might have been, like, a hunter, but I almost get, like, an energy of, like, talking to the animals, but not in, like, a... Not in a good way. Almost like he went crazy. Like, he was so alone. Like, he didn't want to be close to anybody. Maybe he even had to run because this person... Maybe he even had to run because, you know, if you're if you're in a position of power and you're with like a king or somebody that's that's in this position of authority, if they ever found out about him, maybe they would have killed him. So maybe he had to go out in the woods and live this kind of reclusive life. But I feel like he wanted to as well. Like he didn't want I don't I don't know if he really wanted to be part of society again after that. I feel like he was just so broken and so lonely. Um Yeah, and I just, wow. Because I hear talking to the animals, but like in like a, in like a crazy way. You know what I mean? Like somebody like, like, like fucking like Wilson from Castaway, like where he like talks to the soccer ball. You know what I mean? Like I'm getting like, I shouldn't laugh, but it's like, it because it, it makes me like, it's making me really emotional, honestly. Like I feel this energy. I feel this um, for sure. But it's like almost like he, because I just see him in his rocking chair drinking and it's almost like he might have talked to the animals, but in a way where he was like, like he didn't have people around him. Like he was like deep out there in the, in the hills or the woods, like he was like in hiding or he just decided to live the life of a hermit. And I feel like he died that way. I feel like he probably died of like, you know, natural causes or like sickness or something. Um... I'm feeling like for some he might have gotten wounded like a like a leg wound or something and like he like died of like natural like like a uh, like sepsis or whatever it is like he didn't have medical care like they didn't have the medical care back then um or like he just kind of died of like natural causes I feel but yeah he never he never got over you he always loved you he never moved on from you he really it's really sad it's like he really went crazy over what happened Um, wow. This energy. Um, oh yeah, what I was saying is I feel like that was an end to his loyalty. So I feel like, again, I feel like that life was so devastating for him that I feel like it's carried into future lives. So if this is like your twin flame or your soulmate, I feel like this is like carried over into this life where they might not be loyal to you. They might have cheated on you and it's almost like punishing you in the in a way. Like they never wanted to be loyal or devoted like that or open hearted like that again. It's almost like they vowed, they might have taken some kind of like blood oath or some kind of soul contract or soul, soul vow in that life, they're like, I will never again be that loyal, or I will never again be that devoted, or I will never again open my heart like that. Um, because they were just so broken, so devastated. They might have honestly, like, like maybe went crazy and like did some kind of blood oath or contract or something. I'm seeing that they need to put an end to, because it's like repeated in this lifetime, like it's carried over, where they might have almost like. Like, if you guys met, maybe they, like, didn't trust you and they didn't know why, but they felt like, it's almost like they were, like, subconsciously, like, again, probably not aware of this, probably not aware of that past life, but it's almost like they were, like, subconsciously, um, repeating that past life, repeating that, um, or not repeating that past life, like, subconsciously punishing you for hurting them like that almost like they wanted almost like they it's like it, it scarred their soul to the point where almost like they wanted revenge like they wanted to like cheat on you in future lives or they wanted to um hurt you in future lives or punish you for hurting them like that like they wanted it's like their soul wanted to punish their soul was still broken by what you what happened why what by what you did by the choice you made and it's almost like on a soul level this person wanted to punish you in future lives like they wanted to hurt you for doing that to them in that past life again they're probably not conscious of it but if you're with someone and it's almost like they have some kind of like unresolved hatred or anger towards you and you don't understand why this could be that 
or it's like they want to punish you or they want to control you and you're not understanding like where that's coming from and it's coming from this past life or it's like Or it's like they didn't like trust you. You know what I mean? Like they like this lifetime, like they met you and they, they fell in love with you, but they didn't like trust their feelings. They didn't trust the connection. They didn't trust you. It's almost like they were like in love with you deeply, but but part of them was like thought you were evil or thought you were distrustworthy. Or it's like almost like this like past life memory is coming up into their subconscious and they might not be aware of it, but it's like they're it's like they might not have trusted you after they met you and you guys got to know each other. It's like something felt off. Like they're, they felt nervous or scared around you. And it's because their soul remembers this past life pain. This, their soul remembers you abandoning them, you betraying them. They never forgot it. Um, yeah. It's like they, they never, like they, they still haven't really moved on from that. They still haven't really healed from that. They, yeah, they, they, let's see here. Wow, it's a lot of, a lot of heavy energy here. Hmm. Wow. Sorry, just bear with me, guys. I'm just kind of, it's a lot to take in. I'm just kind of, and I was kind of, I was aware of this storyline already, but I mean, I mean, I was aware of this energy. I know about this energy already, but yeah. Yeah, it's like they might have, they might have like wanted to punish you this lifetime and they might have almost cheated or been disloyal. And there's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for that. But but some of them might have even like done that this lifetime because of what you did in the past. It's almost like their soul feels like because normally like in a in like most situations, it's like their higher self, their soul will come through and like try to convince them not to cheat consciously. But it's almost like this this devastation was it was so much that it like it broke them on a soul level. So their soul is like, you know what? Cheating is justified. It's fine. Like their soul doesn't try to convince them not to cheat. Their soul is like, I'm on board with that. You know what I mean? Like their, their higher self, their soul is just kind of like, yeah, like this is like, yeah, go ahead and punish them. They might have like tariff, like really bad abandonment issues, especially when it comes to other men, other men around you. Like they might get so jealous. They might not show it, but they might get so triggered by any other other any other man around you any man that like notices you flirts with you like loves you it's it's almost like it's it's almost like a like soul PTSD in a way almost if that makes sense it's like it's a, such a trigger for them and again they're probably not conscious of it they're probably they're I'm sure they're probably not sitting there like oh yeah this comes from that past life they're probably just they might not even know why they feel that way but it's it's like they get so jealous over you more so than they have been with other women you know, like if they're a little possessive with other women, they're like a whole nother level of possessive with you and controlling with you or what, you know what I mean? Like they're so, it's like it triggers them. Like they're so triggered by any, any kind of romantic competition, third parties and men, men flirting with you, men dating you. It's so, it, it like really just, it, it brings up that trauma for them. So yeah, some of them try to punish you. Some of you have like a karmic cycle with this person where it's almost like you guys meet and fall in love and then they try to punish you or they hurt you and they push you away and it's stemming from this past life. And then you go out, like they test the waters or they try to they they try to hurt you like you hurt them and their soul is doing it and they're not even realizing that they're they're why they're doing the things that they do they just know that they consciously they don't understand it but i think they just feel like they're triggered like they don't trust you or like there's something off in that situation like like they remember they their soul remembers it but some of them like you guys might have like a karmic pattern where it's like they like they leave you like they they hurt you they test you they come in their soul almost like 
cheats or, or like like they they they're not they're not good to you and then you don't understand it because you don't remember this past life you're like what the hell did i even do to you i never hurt you like i don't i don't get it and it's like because you guys are doing it like consciously you're not you know you guys probably aren't aware of this past life so you're like you don't understand what's happening but then you might have this karmic cycle where it's like then you go into the arms of another man because you're like I don't get why this man that I love so much is trying to punish me for something. I didn't even do anything or why are they pushing me away or why are they why are they being disloyal or why why do they have this hidden anger or this distrust towards me? Like I don't I never did anything to hurt them. Like why are they so mad at me? What are they upset about? And it again it stems from this past life. And so for many of you, you you end up going into the arms of another man because you're like I, I want someone who's going to love me. I don't understand what, where this hidden anger is coming from. Um, and then it's like, then it triggers them even more because you're with another man because you, you, you know, you, you are like, they try to punish you and then you, you put an end to it. You're like, no, you're not, I, I didn't do anything. And then you go to this, you know, to another man um, and then they're triggered even more. And it's like the cycle continues and you guys might have this karmic cycle now of like, they do this to you and they hurt you without consciously realizing why and then you go to another man and the cycle continues because then they feel triggered and betrayed all over again like you chose someone else over me um and they're not realizing they're doing it to themselves so anyway i'm going to put this out there i hope this resonates please like comment share subscribe if this resonates i am going to come back with more past life reading so check check in for that check in for that